Welcome to Drum Corps History, Episode 1. Today we'll be taking a look at the longest running junior corps from the Pacific Northwest, the Seattle Cascades. Back in the 50s and 60s, DCI did not exist. Instead, corps relied on either regional circuits or the American Legion and VFW who ran national championships, as well as separate state championships. In 1957, a man by the name of Jack Avery founded the Greenwood Boys Club Drum and Bugle Corps. The very next year, however, Roderick Stubbs took over leadership of the Corps and renamed it the Seattle Thunderbirds. The Corps was initially a parade and standstill unit until the Corps' leadership attended the 1963 VFW Nationals, which were taking place in Seattle that year. Under the direction of George Lauman and Jack Little, the Corps entered the field for the first time in 1964 performing music such as El Cid, Lawrence of Arabia, and You'll Never Walk Alone. They even attended VFW Nationals in Cleveland that year, placing 32nd of 45 corps. Soon afterwards, the growing corps started a feeder group named the Thunderbird Cadets. Under the direction of original founders Roderick Stubbs and Jack Avery, they remained as a parade group, most notably performing at the Rose Festival in Portland, Oregon. In 1966, Rod Stubbs left the Thunderbirds and founded a new corps named the Cascade Cadets. In 1970, many staff and members from the Thunderbirds moved to the Cascade Cadets, who then changed their name into the Corps we know today, the Seattle Cascades. In 1972, the Cascades absorbed the remains of the Thunderbirds organization and would continue to grow from there. That same year, a small organization was founded and hosted a drum corps competition in Whitewater, Wisconsin, and named themselves Drum Corps International. The Cascades would attend their first DCI championship in 1977 in Denver, Colorado, as well as competing in American Legion Nationals that same year, also in Denver. They found moderate success, placing 45th in 1977 and 34th in 1978. Following the 1978 DCI championship, the Cascades were in trouble. Many years they went inactive or only hosted a parade corps and wouldn't return to DCI championships until 1985, placing 15th in Class A60. The following years, the corps went inactive and were reborn as a parade corps in 1989, but couldn't host a field corps. 1991 was a major year for the Cascades. With a field corps, they performed their program, Gershwin, and managed to place 12th in Class A60. The very next year, when DCI organized the new division system, the Cascades were promoted to Division II, finding moderate success for many years before falling inactive again in 1997. In 1998, the Cascades returned to the field with their program, The Music of Chicago, placing 9th in Division II, and the very next year, placing 6th. The new millennia would see a meteoric rise for the Cascades, winning Division Three and placing 23rd at the 2001 Division I Championship, playing music by David Halsinger and Timothy Marr. The next year, the Cascades' membership doubled, and their show Veneration captured them the silver medal in Division Two and their highest finish in Division I, placing 17th and making it into semifinals for the first time in their history. Promoted to Division I in 2002, their show, City Riffs, the music of Leonard Bernstein, placed among DCI's illustrious Top 12, making Cascades the first and only Pacific Northwest Corps to be a DCI finalist. Although the Cascades have not been able to replicate their success from 2002, they have still made DCI semifinals from 2003 to 2005, 2011 to 2012, and 2015 to 2016. In 2008, they went inactive due to the Great Recession, but returned the next year stronger than ever. Their core song, Imagine, by John Lennon, binds members together, creating a family. The song holds a special place in all of their hearts. The core is often heard screaming the words, 206, when entering the field, a reference to the Seattle area code. In 2018, the Cascades received their official core necklace. Gold C medallions with the Cascades mountain range carved into them were handmade by Garth Stubbs, son of Roderick Stubbs and alumni from the very first days of the Seattle Cascades, dating all the way back to the Greenwood Boys. For every year at the core, a member receives a different bead, white for their rookie year, green for their second year, representing the Greenwood Boys, red for their third year, representing the Seattle Thunderbirds, blue for their fourth year, representing the modern Cascades. And this color scheme repeats green, red, blue until a member's age out season where they'll receive a black bead. My personal core necklace has a white bead from my rookie year and a moon bead that my friend bought from a small shop in the town we had all days in. A couple other rookies have the moon beads and it's a nice way to connect us all to our first season of drum core. While not the largest core or the highest placing core, the Cascades have a long history, touching students and remaining in the hearts of many alumni for years to come. My first year of drum corps 
was with the 2018 Seattle Cascades Color Guard and our show, What Goes Around. The Cascades will always hold a special place in my heart. Oh, no.